reducing our carbon footprint is at the top of everyone's mind. But what is actually being done to slow it down? Research into carbon sequestration could offer answers on how we can store some carbon in the ground and not in our atmosphere, where it can warm our planet. So what is carbon? What how do we slow climate change? change? What, what is carbon sequestration? Do I have a carbon footprint? Holy smokes! Let's slow down and answer some of these questions. Carbon is an interesting chemical element. It exists on Earth in solid, dissolved, and gaseous forms. Carbon is a heat-trapping gas produced both in nature and by human activity. The main source of man-made CO2 is from the burning of fossil fuels. You know, all these. It can be released through land use changes, biologically through oceans, decomposition of organic matter, and forest fires. Scientists are working hard to understand how we can not only limit carbon from reaching the atmosphere, but also pull it from there. One tool is carbon sequestration. This could be essential to helping us fight climate change. Sounds a little complicated, right? It is, which is why researchers are investigating sequestration. Carbon sequestration is the process of capturing, securing, and storing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Cattle can play a part in this thing we call carbon sequestration. Through managed grazing, cattle eat down nutrients provided by grasslands in one area. The cattle are then shuffled into another section of the grassland, which in turn encourages the plant life to grow and allows grasses and soil to sequester carbon. That's our ecosystem working in harmony. Breaking it down further, there are a few types of carbon sequestration techniques, including biological, geological, and technological. Biological carbon sequestration is the storage of CO2 in vegetation, such as grasslands or forests, as well as soils and oceans. Geological carbon sequestration is the process of storing CO2 in underground geologic formations, or rocks. I knew rocks were good for something. Technological carbon sequestration may be the future of capturing and storing carbon. Some research being conducted are straight out of a science fiction novel. For instance, scientists are engineering molecules that can change shape by creating new kinds of compounds capable of singling out and capturing CO2 from the air. I would not want to be carbon dioxide in this scenario. Carbon sequestration can take many forms, with some types creating a better path forward. The one common outcome is the promising results and the exciting future of research to come. <laughs>